Right. I'm at the World Travel Market and I'm talking to two very, very happy gentlemen. One is Ko. Now, it's not actually Ko, is it? It's a bit more complicated than that. How do we say it? Kowahi. Kowahi. Yeah. Um, and Wally Stone from Well Watch. Kai Koda. Kai Koda, you see. We get that one wrong as well. And what they've got there is the Virgin Holidays Responsible Tourism Award overall winner, world winner for 2009, which is a tremendous achievement. So I bet you're both dead chuffed. You tell me, how chuffed are you, Kerr? Extremely chuffed. Tell me, what's gone, there must have been an enormous amount of work that's gone into all of this, and it's a small community that you support. How does it all work? Yeah, well, the community we're representing is uh, less than 4,000 people. You know, and tourism and uh, the environment are key components of that uh, little place we call home. And it's a beautiful little place. When we talked to Wally earlier on in the week, he was saying just what a beautiful place it was. It inspired me to think about that wonderful water and those wonderful whales. Yes, it's a, it's a very special and unique place. You know, we've got the, the marine life and the coastal uh, environment, but behind us we've got that spectacular alpine environment. So the, the mixture of the two makes Kaikoura an amazing place. And also, it looks very simple. You've got a beautiful place, you've got a nice award, but in fact, the competition for this award is very serious. And there's a lot of people that go in for it, and the judging is, I know, the judging is very, very impressive. So, how did you win it? I mean, what was the significant thing that made you win, do you think? Well, I think it's, the, um, I guess, touching on all the aspects of uh, what makes responsible tourism from the you know, environment, community, culture, you know, right back to the customer, it's all those aspects from my perspective I think uh, contributed to the, uh, to the awards. And I know that from your point of view, the environment is the key aspect of your product, so it's a sensible thing to do to make sure that it's okay. Oh, definitely, if there's no whales, there's no wild ones. So no. It's extremely important that we look after it. But, um, yeah, we really want to make sure that what we got there today is there for future generations. That's our, that's our plan, and we, we plan for generations, so we're here for the long haul. I think you have to be, don't you? And also, the thing that is important is the fact that your mammals need the food, and you've got the food there, haven't you? Right, absolutely. Uh, the animals are actually uh, quite s simple creatures. They like to socialise, they like to eat, and they like to breed. And we're very fortunate, we, we help in three of those, all three. <laughs> and also you make it possible for people to see this amazing experience in a responsible way. Oh, absolutely, I mean, we're really fortunate that by taking people into the natural world, to have a close encounter, up close and personal with the world, more often than not, makes them uh, ambassadors for us. They suddenly appreciate what they see, they value what they see, and they in themselves become strong uh, conservationists and supporters of the cause. Well, you must be doing something, right? You're going back to New Zealand with, two, with not only the Responsible Tourism Prize, the Responsible Tourism Prizes, the trophy and the prize, but also the All Blacks have gone back as yeah. winners again. <laughs> and I'm, I'm most impressed with both aspects, but thank you both very, very much indeed. Two, two very happy gentlemen, indeed. thank you. And a community that's going to be very happy when you come back as well. Indeed. Thanks, Tony.